Hello Tankers! In today's vlog, we'll be reviewing the Tankers meetup in Moscow. We'll also be showcasing the new overdrives and announcing the winners of the Mr. and Miss Tio contest. Of course, the main story for this week is the Tankers meetup in Moscow. Here's how it went. Tanky in Moscow The devs team for Tanky Online and Tanky X have visited the capital. The fan meetup took place in Brooklyn Hall, a club in Moscow, not too far from the Pavelecka metro station. More than 500 tankers came to the meetup, and everyone received in-game prizes, gifts, answers from the devs, and of course, lots of positive vibes. As the city prepares for Moscow Day, we're preparing for our Tanky in the City meetup. It took us almost two months to organize the event. We had to look for a good place, sort out all the gifts and prizes, and much more. The meetup began with a live Q&A with the devs. Vladimir Belecki, project manager for Tanky X, talked about Arms Race, the biggest update for the game since its launch. After the Q&A, Vladimir and community manager Daria Steele answered players' questions about the upcoming changes. Simon Strujak from Tanky Online showcased the new overdrives for all holes in the game, together with a demonstration of their unique visual effects. This update is now in active development. After the presentation, Simeon and Max answered some of our players' favorite questions about Tanky Online, as well as a lot of new ones. I've been playing Tanky for more than seven years now. After seeing today what Hazel has planned for the game, I'm really excited about future updates. I've always been very interested in player meetups, but I was too young to go alone, so I could only watch. I've been waiting for a big, crowded meetup in Moscow, hoping to be a part of it. I was even spamming the forum. Come on, it's time already. I'm excited the most about Tanky X. I've been playing since the closed beta. Eventually, I even joined internal testing. And now I'm part of the Tanky X newspaper. I expected a huge party tonight. And that's exactly what happened. I've chatted with other players, with developers, with everyone I know and everybody who came from Tanky X. After the Q&A, everyone participated in a live quiz about both games. Max quizzed players about the history of Tanky Online. And Daria did the same for Tanky X. Those who answered correctly received promo codes for in-game bonuses and gifts. The second round of the quiz featured harder questions, but bigger prizes, and was a tough nut to crack for everyone participating. I played Tanky a lot, then stopped, and then started playing again, and still do. I stream Tanky online and make videos. Today I won a flash drive, answered a question correctly, and won a promo code for 50 supplies. My classmates will totally be jealous. In the middle of the event, there was a live performance of the band Garage Band. Tankers got the chance to chat, have a quick bite to eat, and even dance. I don't know about the young crowd, but for me it's all about communication. I play Tanky after work to relax and have fun. I've spoken with these people on TeamSpeak for several years, and today I finally met them face to face, and that's exciting. Live meetups really bring people together. Even losing the battle isn't sad if we had fun playing together. Our Tanky helpers were a tremendous help when it came to organizing the event. They helped with tickets at the entrance, handing out gifts, and acting as technical backup for the team. One of these helpers is the tanker known as Vaja. I traveled here from Odessa in Ukraine. It was a long trip. I've been on the road for 24 hours, but the meetup was worth it. And I'm glad I'm here. The place is packed with positive vibes, so many emotions. It's really cool. I'm so happy that Tanky Online has given us this opportunity. This is awesome. A top quality event. The culmination of the Tanky in Moscow meetup was the live giveaway, where we handed out many gifts. The hottest one being a gaming chair from our event partners at Warp. Ten guests got up on stage, but only one of them was the lucky winner. I've been playing Tanky for a long time. Some time ago, I took a small break, but now, thanks to my girlfriend, I've started playing again. I heard about the Tanky in Moscow meetup and got very excited. I've been wanting to come to an event like this for years, so here I am and it's been absolutely worth it. Up until now, I've been playing the game on an old laptop, sitting on an old chair. 
I'm very happy because now I can continue to play, but with even more intensity. I don't know how to explain this. I've never had any luck with giveaways, but this time I have faith that somehow it would happen. I wish everyone would play more tanky online. It's a very cool game. And make sure you never miss events like this one. Wherever you are, come. This has been amazing. So much fun, such a cool crowd, great contests. And now I'm in an awesome mood. The meetup was very interesting. It's amazing how many people turned up. The white age group is also really evident. Anywhere from 15 to 56 years of age. It was great that players were so interested in what's coming to the game. There were many questions about new updates, current events and what maps and features will be introduced. And Hazel talked about new ideas for overdrives. It's really interesting. And even I didn't know everything about these plans. For me, working at such an event was a new and exciting experience. Tanky has conquered Moscow. Both developers and guests received a blast of positive emotions, met new friends and returned home with gifts. Until the next meetup, Tankers! On Monday, September 11th, we did a live giveaway for the Tanky in Moscow prize pool. Including the added bonus, the final prize pool was crazy – 234 million crystals! The main prize, 10 million crystals, was won by a lucky Brazilian player from TO. Yep, that's why you couldn't find him in the ratings. The winner is there. You just need to check in the Brazilian site. At the Tankers meetup, Simas Strujak shared some hot new stuff about the new overdrives. Today we'll be sharing that same info with you to bring you up to speed. Let's start with the one overdrive that's currently available in the game. This overdrive will get a new visual effect and will belong to the Dictator Hole, which will now light itself and all teammates nearby with a cool set of Christmas lights. Wasp will throw a bomb, which will help it shake off anyone chasing it. Hornet will give itself and all teammates the ability to see through the walls, and the tanker who activates the effect will deal damage ignoring all resistances for the duration of the effect. Hunter will launch an electromagnetic charge and deactivate any supplies within a small radius. Additionally, any supplies affected will have their cooldowns activated. Viking's Overdrive will temporarily increase the firing rate for its turret, helping it break through the enemy's defenses more easily. Titan will drop a protective shield generator, and all allies, including the Titan itself, will be able to hide under it. It will be a great asset for defending the flag. And finally, Mammoth's ability will, for a very short time, make it invincible and give it the ability to instantly destroy any enemy it touches. We're sure Gold Diggers will love using that to clear out gold drop zones. One disadvantage though, the Mammoth's usual slow speed will be even slower while under effect of its overdrive. So those are the new overdrives and we're looking forward to seeing them on the live servers. The Mr. and Miss Steo contest has come to an end, and it's time to announce our winners. First, here are the Misters. And now our ladies!
most of my summer playing tanky near my tank until I decided to take a break. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> All winners have already received their in-game prizes. And next week, we'll be sending out the TO branded t-shirts, mugs, and USB pen drives. A huge well done to all our winners! Video of the week In the last episode, we asked you to record a video on the factory map using the black paint. Let's check out the best video. Next week you can pick any theme you want. You can do something cool in the game or even in real life. But if you send us in-game footage, make sure you're wearing the orange paint. Good luck! And that's it for today's vlog. For the next two weeks we will not have a vlog, because our team desperately needs a vacation. So we'll be seeing you on October 6th. Bye! In the last episode, we showed you a few buildings from a map, and you had to find out how many buildings it contains. The map was Berlin, and it has 31 buildings. Here are our winners, and here's the new question.